Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tron.com and today we're going to look at the new Tilt 50 Wi-Fi RTS in combination with a sensor. So why would you use a sensor? Um, a sensor actually works in the way that it senses either the amount of light that comes in or the temperature or a combination of both. Um, in this case, for example, this one on, the, on my side, on my right, is the Thermo Sunus RTS, which means you can measure the temperature and the light. So if the light becomes too bright, it will close the uh, blind. And if it becomes too hot, it can do the same thing. So that's a part of automation. That, that's very handy because, for example, if you, uh, during the day, you're away from your house, you're at work, and you don't want a room to get too hot or too much sun coming in, then you use a sensor and it automatically closes the blinds. So that's, uh, that's very easy in day-to-day -day use. Um, and that's a traditional way of using your um, sensors. Um, but there are other ways, at least if you can use the I.O. protocol, because for example in the US you only have RTS, you cannot use the Tahoma with I.O. Um, so that rules out that option. But if you do have I.O., which is in most of Europe and some other countries, then there's another way to use a sensor, um, which is a lot easier, and that's with the Tahoma as a, as a bridge in between. Because what you do with the RTS sensor is that you actually connect it to the motor with the other sensors, um, the I.O. sensors. You have a Firmus I.O. and a Sunus I.O., so a separate one for uh, temperature and one for light. Um, you connect them to Tahoma. And the big benefit of that is that you don't need to connect it to individual motors. You can actually create a scenario where you connect um, the motors virtually. So in the scenario, you will assign which motors will respond if uh, there's an input from the sensor. So if the sun becomes too bright, the temperature becomes too hot, you can determine yourself which motors will respond. And you can add other motors than the Tilt 50 as well. For example, if in awning, you can say that when the sensor input gets in, the awning will close um, and also the Venetian blinds will close. And that makes it a lot easier to automate products and you can also, also really easily adjust it on the fly because if you want to take out a product, you don't want it to respond anymore, you just take it out of the scenario. So that's a very easy way and it's, it's a solution that's not often uh, offered because people don't know about it because they always think like, oh yeah, RTS should be matched to RTS. But with the home as a bridge, you get the home control system, so you have timers, etc. And you can also use the I.O. sensors and really easily adjust your automation programs. That's all for this time. Um, I hope you've learned something about the use of sensors. If you have any questions about the motor, Tahoma sensors or programming, anything related to SOMFI, do let me know. You can always find the email address below the video. You can leave a comment and of course you're free to subscribe so you can automatically be informed if there's a new video about these topics. In any case, I'd like to thank you for watching and hope to see you in a new one.